Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, I often feel that uh, the assignment that Pam has just tackled is the verbal equivalent to bullfighting. We don't actually have um, blood on the floor, but uh, well, not most times anyway. <laughs> but it's all about um, grace and skill under pressure, is it not? About ten minutes, perhaps a little bit more, but that sort of an order of things, to actually select a title, so be decisive, organise the ideas for a speech on that title in a logically constructed manner, then to come back in here and uh, <coughs> deliver the talk as if it had been uh, planned for several days and rehearsed significantly in advance. Of course, none of that lack of it was true. So, um, how did Pam do? Well, in terms of preparation under pressure, I thought the effect from the speech showed that that had been handled very well. Pam had clearly uh, come to a swift decision, in my opinion. She had organised her <coughs> ideas very effectively, and she certainly came to this lectern with a great deal of confidence in order to put those ideas across to us as an audience. I thought she appeared very calm at the lectern, very much in control, and in the uh, unfolding of the speech, I felt she very much reeled us in as an audience into her message. And I thought that was very, very good. The opening was cool, calm and collected. Days we remember all our lives. And it was delivered at that sort of pace. It wasn't rushed out. She was not betraying any nerves if she had them. It was nicely, nicely paced. And early on there were plenty of questions to us as an audience. Um, and that, in fact, was part of the really in process. Plenty of questions to generate our interest. Uh, then she sort of moved into the development, at least I thought so, because she honed in on life before central heating. And uh, quite a few of us could remember that, actually. <laughs> and, and, and then there unfolded quite a, a, a good series of excellent descriptions of life at that time. Very good uh, word pictures were put before us, and there was plenty of humour. Uh, and uh, as an audience, again, we were enticed to pay attention with uh, reference to uh, the um, Christmas pudding simmering and rattling in the pan for hours on end. And one or two other pictures I didn't have time to roll right down. But there was, uh, in all of that, a very good reaction to um, from the audience. In fact, I thought at one point that Elder was about to propose a royal toast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it all went very well. Pam's presentation, I think, had a great deal in it. The voice was good, there were some nice gestures, the body language was, uh, you know, gave the impression of being in control, the pace, the pitch and the, and the falls were very effective. Uh, the conclusion was a little bit short, but it was a nice thought. Now, the time we're living in is someone else's uh, good old days. A good thought to end with, it seemed to me there'd been very good planning and use of time, six minutes forty for a seven minute uh, planned speech. So all in all, it was a, a, a great deal, of, a, a great success. My only advice really is to keep up the good work. It's a bit of fine tweaking, the only suggestion I can offer. Just perhaps a little more variety and volume in asking the audience the questions to really make that more emphatic. But otherwise, very well done and a very successful time.